I'll be talking about in this video. Vertiporfin, initially developed for age-related macular degeneration, an eye condition that slowly causes blindness, has emerged as a promising treatment in hair restoration, particularly in follicular unit extraction, or FUE, and follicular unit transplantation, or FUT, hair transplant procedures. Vertiporfin's role in inhibiting the YES-associated protein, also known as YAP, is significant in reducing scar formation and potentially enhancing regrowth in the donor area, making it a potential game changer in hair transplants. So, when you typically remove hair from the donor area during a hair transplant, you induce scar in the sites in which the hair was removed. And in theory, if vertiporfin is applied to those sites, specific proteins are blocked that cause the formation of scar tissue. And if those proteins are blocked, then you're going to get normal hair regrowing from that area. So essentially, you've doubled the supply of your donor area. Now, there has been an update in a recent 15-month trial result using vertiporfin in hair transplants by Dr. Baguthi, a Jordanian hair transplant surgeon. And the results are very remarkable. Because right now, from the images and the trial itself, it's suggesting hair regrowth in the donor area that has been treated with vertiporfin. And this suggests the possibility of vertiporfin creating a potential infinite donor source for hair transplant patients. Now, if all goes well in extended research and these hairs are viable, this is a huge game changer. You can get someone going from potentially a Norwood, let's say, 5, going to a Norwood 2, by various rounds of hair transplants with supplementation of vertiporfin in the donor area to prevent fibrosis or scarring and bring about new hair follicles in the sites in which the hair follicles were once extracted from those donor areas. This breakthrough could redefine hair transplant surgery, offering new hope for those dealing with hair loss and marks a significant step forward in the field.